What's going on guys, it's Tony Sauce. Thank you for checking out the video. I think it's time that we start talking about a potential pack strike. Now what do I mean by a pack strike? So a pack strike is when content creators like myself and some of the bigger names in the community, as well as all of the just regular players, go on strike and don't buy any packs. Now I haven't bought any packs this year. I always wait like a couple weeks before deciding if I wanna spend some extra money in the game because I wanna see if the game is actually good. And this year, the gameplay Play has been the worst it's ever been. In my opinion, the worst by far. I do not remember a Chell game being this bad in terms of gameplay. So after the first couple weeks, I was like, yeah, no way I'm giving EA any more money. They don't deserve any more than the $60 that I already spent. Like if you're gonna make a game this bad, they do not deserve any more of my money. So I have not bought any packs this year none which is really rough because i'm a content creator and some of the best content is pack openings but i refuse i refuse it, they do not deserve it dude and I, i'm not even talking about the content yet the gameplay has just been ass this year dude ass there's an nhl youtuber named i'm hence who dropped a really good video pretty early on in the season about how bad the game is. I really recommend taking a look at that video. He's really good with all of his points and everything he says is very, very valid. Now that's mainly just the gameplay. The content has been terrible, dude. This trade deadline event is almost like the breaking point in the community. You guys gotta go take a look at the Reddit, but everyone is freaking out about how bad the event is, mainly because of the random power up upgrade items that you get. So if you want to upgrade the items, you have to basically get upgrade items through trading in collectibles. The thing is, it's random upgrade items. So if I'm trying to upgrade Pat Kane and I get Mark Stone upgrade items, it's like, oh my god, like this sucks. Why is it random? Did they think that that was going to be fun or something? It's freaking terrible. It's so dumb and everyone's freaking out about it. Now, that's not even the main reason I'm upset about this event. The main reason I'm upset about this event is because we didn't get one new card introduced into the game. Not one new player. Three of these MSPs, uh, Larry Murphy, Brad Richards, and Ryan Smith, they already have power-up icon cards. They already have power-up icon cards. Do you know how excited I was on Friday to load up the game and be like, I cannot wait to see what new players are introduced into the game. I'm a Bruins fan, so there's bias. But imagine I load up the game and bam, there's a Cam Neely MSP. I'd be like, oh, I would freak out. I'd be so happy. Even if it was a player that like I didn't really like that much, but it's a new card, that's what I want, is new cards introduced into the game. And bam, they drop the ball again. The Pat Kane card is cool, but his silver abilities on the Pat Kane card are exactly the same as his most recent plays of the year Pat Kane. The only difference is his gold X factor. On his MSP, it's gold puck on a string. On the plays of the year card, it's gold all alone. The Mark Stone card I actually do like, but who uses Back At Ya? Back At Ya is the stupidest ability. Reverse hitting is just dumb in general, dude. I don't know why they changed that mechanic from Puck Protect to uh, whatever it is, the reverse hitting. It's like I'm trying to do a stick lift, and sometimes I just do a reverse hit and lose the puck because I don't realize I have the puck. Like, puck battling in this game is so dumb, but that's a whole nother story. This event is absolutely it's ass and we need to go on strike and stop buying packs we need to stop with the pack opening content i know it's great content to the other youtubers henrik no sleeves thrash you guys are legends in the community but you gotta we gotta do this pack strike we gotta all band together not just the content creators everyone that's playing this game no more buying packs i have not spent one dollar on packs this year not one dollar i waited the first two weeks to see how good the game was game was and i realized it was ass and i was like i'm not buying any packs this year if the game the game if they fix the gameplay which they didn't if they fix the gameplay and they drop some fire content hell yeah i'll, I'll spend a hundred bucks i'll do an insane pack opening but no ea does not deserve it they are shoving down this crap content down our throats and just getting raking in 60 bucks from us every year just to buy the game and then everyone starts buying packs it like if you want to buy packs do what you want if the content was good, I would be like, go ahead, buy packs, spend money on the game. But if it's, even if you have the money, if you're rich as hell, if you're Jeffrey Epstein, I mean, Jeffrey Bezos, <laughs> I guess they're both rich, but like, if you're a super rich billionaire who can buy thousands of dollars worth of packs, 
you still shouldn't do it because it's a it's 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 a principal thing at this point. They don't deserve it. The content is crap this year. Three of the MSPs are power up icons. Why couldn't they release like a bam a Nathan Horton card, his first card of the game? That would be unreal. There's so many cards that we could have introduced into the game. And 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 that's just one thing. Like, the content has been ass this year. There's other things like the Quinton Byfield Plays of the Year card. It was an 86 overall, and we're in February. Are you kidding me? Morgan Geeky of the Bruins just got his first ever hat trick. They release an 85 overall. Who the f*** is still using 85 overall cards? Who? I'm, like, just started this power forward alt team, and I'm not even using 80 five overall cards. Like, what are we doing here, EA? I don't want to be that guy who's just bashing EA. I, I want to have a good relationship with EA. I want to have a good relationship with you guys. I want the Chell community to grow. I'm dedicating my life to making content around this game, and I love Hut. I love the concept of it, but this year has been terrible, and we all need to band together and not buy any packs. This will make a difference. They did it in Madden. In Madden, there was a big pack strike, and they responded to it. So no more buying packs. Henrique, no more buying packs, dude. No sleeves. Thrash, Dino Krista, Burt Crown, all of you streamers, let's let's all band together and, and go on strike against EA because the game has been ass cheeks this year. Ass cheeks. And if we all stop buying packs and then the rest of the community bands in and says we're not buying packs... This will make a difference. I'm telling you guys. I am telling you. Everyone is up in arms about this event. I'm just going to pull up the Reddit real quick because it's it's funny. Like, people are tweaking on Reddit. If EA has any balls, they'd apologize this event and change random collectibles now. I'm not even going to go into, like, reading all of these. You guys should just check it out yourselves. Has this event caused you to break to take a break from the game or even the season? This event sucks. We all know it. There was an overwhelmingly negative reaction to it yesterday. A lot of emotions. I thought the Elites event was ass cheeks too. Is this the worst event in history of Hockey Ultimate Team? Power Up Icon Smith is much cheaper to make and has better stats. That's hilarious. 94 speed in Excel. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to get into it, but... Wait, hold on. Actually, if this is a full-size image comparing both... Huh. That's hilarious. Stop supporting mediocrity and, dare I say it, a company flirting with criminal tendencies. They can't seriously have thought this was a good idea, right? I'm trying... Worst event ever. I'm trying to find the post that said that we need... Because someone said we should do a pack strike. And I commented. I was like, dude, I am 100% with you. I'm going to make a video on it. I hope some of the other NHL streamers um, see this. Some of the bigger ones like Thrash, No Sleeves, Henrique. I really hope they see this and they make a video as well. I think if we all call out EA and all do a pack strike, it will make a difference, guys. I really think it will. That's going to be it for the video. Just a quick rant. I'm super pissed about this event and everyone else is as well. The MSPs are butt cheeks. The fact that we got th no new players introduced into the game is just insane. I, I haven't bought any packs all year. They do not deserve the money. It's a principal thing with me. They don't deserve any of the money. I could be making fire content. Dropping pack videos, opening packs, like Friday, $100 worth of packs, let's do it. It would be awesome content, but I'm not doing it, dude. I'm not. They don't deserve that money, and I hope some other people join in on this pack strike as well. I really think it would make a huge difference. I honestly feel like there's no saving NHL 24, but if we do this and we all say that we are not buying any packs from now on, I think EA will respond. I really do. It worked in Madden. It worked in Madden. So let's try it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.